Hi everyone, welcome to CAT Coach. We'll continue with our video series solutions of CAT 22 slot 1 quant questions. The question on your screen is from mixtures and allegation. It says a mixture contains lemon juice and sugar in equal proportion. If a new mixture is created by adding this mixture and sugar in the ratio 1 is to 3, then the ratio of lemon juice and sugar in the new mixture is. Alright, so before we get into this question, I need you to understand few things. This question is based on mixing a pure component into an impure component, right? For example, we have an impure component here that is a mixture of lemon and sugar in which I'm mixing a pure component that is sugar. So whenever we have this kind of a question, what we can do is we need to understand a formula here that is quantity is always equal to concentration into volume, right? So if some quantity is constant, then the concentration to volume different values will always be equal for that particular quantity. For example, here in this particular question, we have lemon and sugar, right? And we have it in equal proportion. So if this mixture is entirely one unit, then this half is lemon and half is sugar for sure. Now, another mixture that I'm, another pure component that I'm taking, not mixture, mixture is the wrong word to use is three times the first one. So I'm taking sugar of three quantity. Now when I'm mixing these two, this mixture with this pure component, can I say the lemon is constant, right? The quantity of lemon is going to remain constant. For example, if we have a glass of milk, right? And if I start pouring water into it, what is going to happen? The concentration of milk is going to change. It is going to become thinner and thinner, but the quantity of milk in that glass will remain constant. The volume of the glass is going to go up because I'm pouring water. So obviously the volume is going up, but then the quantity of milk is constant, only its concentration is changing, right? So similarly here, the quantity of lemon is constant. So on lemon, can I apply C1V1 should be equal to C2V2, that is initial concentration of lemon into initial volume should also be equal to the final concentration into final volume, right? Now, let's see here. What is the initial concentration of lemon? Can I say lemon is half, isn't it? Half by one, that is half into initial volume. So initial total volume is, can I say one, that is my V1 equals. I do not know how much is lemon in the final mixture. So I'll say, let's say C2 into final volume is how much? I'm taking one part of this and three part of this. So the final volume becomes nothing but four parts, right? So from here, what do I get? I get the value of C2 as one over eight. That means if my total mixture is eight, right? Then in that lemon is one part. So if lemon is one part in eight, then sugar will be remaining seven parts. So the answer is one is two. 7 is the ratio of lemon to sugar in the new mixture. Now, the constraint with this method is it only works when you're mixing a pure component into an impure component, right? Now, let, let us look at an, another approach that will help me to find out if there are two impure components also. For example, let's say I know lemon and sugar in the first one is 1 is to 1. Why? Because they are in equal proportion, right? Sugar in the second one has to be three times the volume of the first. Why? Because I'm taking one part of first mixture, then I'm taking three parts of the second. So here total is two units, right? So this should be how many units? Six units. Now when I'm mixing the two, how much lemon is coming in the mixture? Can I say only one part of lemon is coming? And how much sugar is coming? Can I have one part from here and six part from here? So the answer is... 1 is to 7. That is a easier approach to solve this particular question, right? Now, what happens if the second one was also some lemon and sugar, right? So for example, I, I'll take some random values here and let's try to do it with some other values. For example, let's say if I have lemon and sugar in the first one as 1 is to 2, and I have another mixture of lemon and sugar in the ratio, let's say 2 is to 3, right? And I want to mix them in the ratio of, let's say 1 is to 3. 
and I want to know what is the final lemon and sugar in the mixture. So whenever we are getting such a question, right, what we first do is we make the total quantity same for both the mixtures. So here the total quantity is 3 and here the total quantity is 5. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply this by 5 and this by 3 first to make the total quantity same. So if I multiply it by 5, then lemon will become 1 into 5, that is 5. And sugar is going to become 2 into 5, that is 10. Here the lemon will become 2 into 3, that is 6. And sugar will become 3 into 3, that is 9. Now if you see here, the total quantity is 15 and the total quantity here is also 15. Why did I do so? Because I had to make this ratio of the two mixtures the quantity that i was supposed to take for the two mixture was supposed to be in the ratio of one is to three isn't it so until unless we have not made the quantity same we cannot divide this in the ratio of one is to three now because now i have the quantity same so i'm taking one parts of this and i'm going to take three parts of this now because i'm taking three parts of this so lemon will become six into three that is 18 sugar will become nine to three that is 27 right and here the lemon and sugar is going to be only 5 is to 10 because I'm taking only one part so 5 into 1 is 1 5 and 10 into 1 is also 10 now when I mix the two total lemon that is coming is 18 plus 5 which is 23 and total sugar that is coming is 27 plus 10 which is 37 so this is the final ratio of lemon to sugar in the mixture right so what we do we learn from here is if you're mixing a pure component into an impure component, then you can stick with C1, V1 is equal to C2, V2, or you can also do what I've just done in the second approach. But when we are mixing two impure components, then C1, V1, and C2, V2 doesn't work. So this is how we do it. First, we made the quantity same of the two. Like here, I've made 15 and 15 first. And then whatever ratio we are supposed to take, we take it in that particular ratio. So now I have a question for you guys to attempt. Let's say I have a mixture one and a mixture two. In this, let's say gold is to copper is in the ratio two is to five. And here gold is to copper is in the ratio seven is to three. And I want to take mixture one and mixture two in the ratio, let's say five is to four. Now you guys tell me what will be the final ratio of gold is to copper in the final mixture, mixture when, when I'm, I'm mixing, mixing mixture one and mixture two please give your answers in the comment section below thank you